The concept of separation of church and state, which is used incessantly by the anti-prayer, anti-Bible, and anti-God forces in an attempt to erode our constitutional liberties, is clearly articulated in Article 124 of the Constitution, the old Soviet Constitution. Quote, the church in the USSR is separated from the state and the school from the church, close quote. Let us be clear, there is absolutely nothing in the U.S. Constitution or any of our founding documents that articulates, supports, or defends the concept of the separation of church and state. The source of the phrase is a letter written by President Thomas Jefferson in 1802 to a group of Baptist ministers and it meant the exact opposite of what the anti-God forces infer today. Quote, Believing with you that religion is a matter which lies solely between man and his God, that he owes account to none other for his faith or his worship, that the legitimate powers of government reach actions only and not opinions, I contemplate with sovereign reverence that act of the whole American people which declared that their legislature should make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, thus building a wall of separation between church and state." Close quote. Now I'm not an attorney, but doesn't invoking the so-called Establishment Clause immediately violate the so-called Free Exercise Clause? Consider these thoughts on education and America. Quote, America is like a healthy body and its resistance is threefold, its patriotism, its morality, and its spiritual life. If we can undermine these three areas, America will collapse from within. And how about this one? Education is a weapon whose effect depends on who holds it in his hands and at whom it is aimed. By the way, those quotes are from Joseph Stalin. Does that not sound suspiciously like those areas now under continuous assault by certain progressive or liberal groups in our country today? Let me ask you. What is the underlying foundation of these critical areas, patriotism, morality, and spiritual life, if not the Bible? Here's another quote. We are spending less time in the classroom on the Bible, which should be the principal text in our schools. The Bible states great moral lessons better than any other man-made book. That quote from Fisher Ames, author of the First Amendment. The Bible in public schools? Yes or no? Choose ye.